guys, it's Maria and I finally set up my Patreon if you want to support me and help me out in creating more content. If you don't know, Patreon is an awesome and easy way to help support the artists whose work you enjoy. I have different reward tiers to choose from and every patron will be credited in the end of my videos as a thank you for making it all possible. Alright, let's jump into the tutorial. I've been asked a lot how I'm rerouting and today I will show you. I'm customizing Torolai at the moment and that's why I've removed her factory paint. But you don't have to, it's really sturdy and you can do this if the hair is damaged or if you just want a different style. You can reroute any doll that has their hair made the same way and of course if the head allows to be detached. Only thing is, be careful not to damage the factory paint with the tool and I wouldn't suggest doing it on an already customized doll because you risk to crack the face up. I will be using my reroute tool and you can check out the link to my video on how I made it in the description or the pop-up. I have been using two ways for reroots that include glue. With synthetic hair, since it doesn't have a structure like a natural one, I can fold it and I use the longer side of my tool to grab it. After this, I'm just pushing the hair into the existing holes. With this way of rerouting, you need to glue the hair through the neck hole, otherwise it will pull out like that. The second way of rerouting that I really like to use and it's also perfect for natural fibers is to grab the hair near the beginning of the strand. This is also a good way if I want to use the maximum length of the hair and again it needs to be secured with glue. There are methods that don't involve gluing, but it wouldn't be right to show you since I haven't tried them myself. I always start rerouting from the bottom towards the top and at the very end the hair part line, but that's just my way. If there is a big color difference between the doll and the hair I'm about to use before rerouting, I'm airbrushing the scalp to match them with paints that dry permanent and of course are safe for the doll. For Torlai I'm using alpaca fleece and I like to pre-glue them so I don't have hair loss while working. I am cutting off a small strand of hair and I'm using a bit of water, it's easier to work with for me. You don't have to, it's just a preference. But if you do use water, of course before gluing you should leave it to dry. Because I'm working with natural hair fiber, I can't just fold it by half since one side of the strand will go against the hair growth. So I'm using my second way of rerouting and I'm folding just a little that will go into the head. I've started using one needle size that is much smaller. It's easier to reroute for me and it prevents splitting of the plugs. You can always change according to the plug size if you're much comfortable that way. I keep rerouting till I reach the hair part line. I'm always leaving it for last. If your doll has animal ears or any parts like that, be careful while rerouting there, not to split the plugs, they are really small. Same counts for the hairline. Rooting the hair part line can be tricky since you want to hide the scalp. It's really just learning by doing. 
Alright, so when I reroute the part line, I'm crossing the hair strands and this way they will cover the scalp. The factory rooted hair looks like it's crossed similar to that. So I'm rooting two hair strands and then crossing them. I'm doing this with the plaques that are left till the hairline, basically covering it all. One thing you need to be careful when you remove the previous hair, so you don't split the plugs together while pulling it out. That's why first cutting off the old hair and using hot water to soften the glue inside helps to prevent splitting the head. Unfortunately, over time you might stumble upon dolls that have been split during factory rooting. If the plugs were made too close to each other or even repeated over. One way to fix this is to pre-glue the scalp. And the reroute is ready! Now to secure the hair I need to glue it through the neck hole. What I can advise you on glue is to look for plastic safe that dries permanent and clear. Clear because in case it gets out of it through a bigger plug it will be visible. And probably there might be a chance that it will stain. I'm using an old paintbrush to spread the glue inside the head. I'm pouring the glue in the head just enough so it covers the fleece inside. Just be careful not to use too much and I'm spreading it with the help of the brush. If it gets a bit messy I'm cleaning it before it gets dry. I am always leaving the glue to dry extra long than described on the bottle because the neck hole is quite small. You can test with a toothpick if it dried. After a new reroute the hair might be puffy. When the glue is completely dry, to fix that you can tie it to the head and leave it until it loosens down. Or you can tie it, use hot water and leave it to air dry. Because alpaca is really soft I just had to leave it tied for a while. I am using small size rubber bands so I don't have to tie twice. To prepare the hair I'm always brushing it and then I tie it at the eyes height like that. But don't leave it just yet, this is only to show you where to tie it. Since I don't want to deal with hair dent from the rubber band later, I'm using paper towel and then I tie on top of it. I leave it like that depending on the fiber I use, usually a day. And that's how I reroute. If you have any questions, leave them below. If you enjoyed the video, check out my other one, subscribe and share, it helps me a lot. If you want to see her further customization, stay tuned. Million times thank you for watching and see you next time.